For our focus today, we're going to be focusing on the feet and the calves, so releasing mostly the lower portion, uh, two MFR balls, and a yoga block. If you don't have MFR balls, tennis or lacrosse work really great. Um, and if you don't have either of those, maybe just bear with me real quick as we get through the foot portion, and then you can use just a, a yoga block or a rolled up blanket when we get to the calves. But to start, we're going to focus on specifically the plantar fascia, so the arch portion of your foot which in our training we do a lot of jumping activities. So making sure that the feet and calves are really healthy is gonna be helpful. So taking one of your myofascial release balls, tennis, lacrosse, whatever you've got, you're gonna just place the arch of your foot on the ball and then just start to lean forward and out. So you're kind of just playing around with how much body weight, how much intensity actually feels okay for you. What we're looking for here is not pain, <laughs> We're just looking for maybe a little tenderness, something to work into. So again, the ball's right there in the arch of the foot, and just leaning in and out. Now, once you find a nice spot, go ahead and pause and just stay, and we'll take five deep breaths here. Try to keep the weight, the pressure even. And take two more breaths here. And last deep breath. And then what we're gonna wanna stay is just in this plantar fascia. So you're just gonna roll back and forth from the under part of the ball of the foot to right above the heel. So I'm not rolling on the ball of my foot, I'm not rolling on my heel. I'm right there in that middle arch portion. And roll more towards the outside pinky edge, right down the middle, and then also towards the big toe edge. Really trying to support this healthy fascia that does so much for us, even outside of workout activities. It does a lot for us just walking, <laughs> taking the stairs. So we want this plantar fascia to be really healthy, really nourished and hydrated. Now, the next time you land, right before you get to the ball of the foot, pause and stay and lean just a little bit more forward. So I'm right next to the, the ball of the big toe mound of my foot. So I'm not on the upper part of the ball of the foot, but right underneath the mound of the big toe. And then see if you can't just lower and lift your toes slowly. So I'm just curling my toes, lifting my toes, like I'm trying to wrap them around the ball and lift. And if anything, maybe that just gives you more stimuli. <laughs> maybe it's a little intense or tender or giving you a lot of feedback. And then think really light pressure. We're just going to do a light scribbling to really... Uh, get the lymphatics going to gather all that metabolic waste in the foot and take it away. So just a light scribble all through that plantar fascia and then release. For a moment, pause, just stand with your feet parallel under your hips, maybe even closing the eyes or softening the gaze and notice the difference between the foot you just released versus the foot that we haven't yet. Notice any difference or changes that have already taken place. And then we're going to do the exact same thing on the other foot. So whenever you're ready, take the ball. You're going to place it right in the middle part of the foot, right in that plantar fascia, and just slowly start to lean forward and back. So you're just playing around with how much body weight feels comfortable for you to put in and out. And again, we're not looking for anything painful here, just something a little tender, something to give you a little bit of feedback. And then once you find that, I'm going to invite you to pause and stay with that amount of pressure for five breaths. Try to keep the weight nice and consistent for your next three deep breaths. And then we're just going to stay right in the arch of the foot, but we're going to roll forward and back keeping that pressure there, but play around with moving more towards the pinky edge of the foot, straight down the middle, and then towards the inner arch or the big toe portion of the foot as well. But again, staying in between the ball of the foot and the heel. So I'm not actually rolling onto my heel, just right there in the arch of the foot. And then take a couple more passes, but the next time you start to work more towards that big toe mound, pause. You can let your heel rest on the floor if that feels comfortable, if the ball's the right height to support that. 
And then keep your weight right there and then just see if you can fold the toes under and lift the toes up. Fold the toes, lift the toes. And if you look down as you fold the toes, you may see the knuckles of the foot turn white as we're really encouraging that stretching through the top portion of the foot, through all the bones and the connection of the toes. And then again, that very gentle scribbling just to get the lymphatics flowing, to gather in all that waste we've just released and to take it away from the foot. And release. So we're gonna bring it to the floor now. So for this part, you'll need your yoga block and one of your myofascial release balls. And again, if you don't have a myofascial release ball, you can do this next portion with a foam roller or a very tightly rolled up blanket it can be really helpful but you're gonna place the block on its lowest setting and you want the long end to be able to support your calf. So if you have it rotated short end, just turn it so you, just, you have more floor space. And you're gonna place the ball right on your block. We're gonna place right underneath the big head of the calf muscle, so the, the base of the gastrocnemia. So not the meaty big portion of your calf, but right underneath of it, right on that ball. And then your left leg can be however it's comfortable. It can be bent. I like to sit with it underneath. You can have it off to the side. You can even have it long, whatever feels comfortable for you. But let your leg just feel really heavy onto your prop here. I'm using a ball and a block, but if you have a blanket or a foam roller, same thing, just let the leg get really heavy. You can take your arms back behind you, lean into the arms. And we're just going to move the foot to, to pin down the tissues. So we'll point the foot without lifting the leg and then point the foot. Flex the foot and point the foot. So hopefully you're getting a little bit of feedback there in the calf. If it's really intense and painful, back off a little bit. Just lighten up on the load of how much pressure you're pushing in. Or maybe you don't even move the foot. Maybe if it's very painful, you just stay and try to breathe deeply. And then let your foot be soft. This next move is going to be really small just because of the physical space of the ball. But you're just going to rock the ball to the outer edge of the shin and then to the, or sorry, of the calf, and then the inner edge. So I'm keeping my leg really heavy, but I'm just cross-fibering. I'm dragging the tissue across the, the ball, moving the fascia against the, the natural layout of the fiber. So cross-fibering. And then just take a couple more passes there. I want to do the exact same thing in another spot. So go ahead and move the ball now more right into that meaty part of the calf. So the thickest part of your calf muscle. And then again, maybe you just stay still and breathe if it's really intense. Maybe you point and flex the foot. Or maybe you circle the foot if that feels better on this bigger portion of the leg. But again, just looking for some feedback there. If there's not a lot of stimulation, you may need more body weight. You can always stack your other leg on top if you need a little bit more. And if it's too much intensity, you can always lighten up by leaning back more into the arms and just not pushing or letting the leg be as heavy. So you're really in charge of how intense this is. But again, we're looking to release tight fascia. So less is more. So be really gentle. And then again, let your foot just be lax and then go into that cross fibering. So you're just gently moving side to side with the weight still heavy on that ball. And you may find in different areas of the calf more tenderness. So once we're there, we're just going to kind of gently extend and draw the leg back in, kind of rolling through that big meaty head of the calf there. And then release. Go ahead and release that leg. And we'll do that whole thing on the other side. But before we get there, I invite you just to extend both legs. And you can lean back into the arms if that feels comfortable. Maybe even, again, closing the eyes or just softening the gaze. And notice what differences there is in the calf that you worked versus the calf we haven't touched yet. Maybe it just feels more flat and connected onto the floor and that it's more open, more nourished. Maybe it feels less tight. <laughs> 
because it got a little bit of massage therapy. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So again, you can bend your right leg however is comfortable to support you. And we're going to go right underneath the meaty part of the left calf. So not on the Achilles, not on that tender portion behind the ankle, but also not on the thickest portion of the calf. Again, listen to your body. If it feels really intense, maybe you just stay still and enjoy the compression relief. Or maybe you point and flex, which you'll feel kind of lets the ball sink in deeper towards the tissue and that it pushes it away as you flex. And then it kind of melts into your body as you point. But again, let your leg be really heavy and we're going to move the tissue over the ball. But if you have really tight calves or uh, plantar fasciitis or any of these kind of lower leg issues, this is something great you can do every day and you can maybe just take one of these modalities and do to help release that. And then again, let your leg be really, or let your foot be relaxed and then come into that cross fibering, just dragging the skin or the tissue right across the ball side to side, moving against the natural layout of the fiber. We'll do that same thing, but just moving the ball up now towards that meaty portion of the calf. And again, pause for a moment. Let your leg get really heavy. Notice the sensation. It might be enough just to stay still. Some days maybe you have movement. Some days you just breathe in the compression. And if you want the movement, flexing and pointing the foot or moving the foot in a circular um, pattern can be really helpful. And again, let your leg just be heavy and find that gentle cross fibering side to side. And you may notice what feels like gravel or bumpy spots. And those are probably just little trigger areas where there might be some needing of release for this myofascial work that you're doing. So if you notice any of those spots, that might be something you want to come back to. Something to repeat and do later. And then again, just kind of extend the hip and draw the hip in. Now moving with the, the layout of the fascia up and down the calf. And then release. And we're going to release one more part. This time it'll be more towards the front of the calves into the pronial. So if you kind of palpate on the front of your legs and you feel the bony protrusion of your shin bone, we're going to be just right off of that. So I'm going to show you a variation uh, sitting on your heels. And if that's not comfortable, I'll show you a variation where you don't have to sit on the heels. But really, we're just going to be placing the balls right offside the shin bones. So if you're okay with sitting on the heels, go ahead and have a seat on the heels. And you're going to place the myofascial release balls right underneath the knee and right outside of the shin bone. And you're in charge of the intensity. If you sit more upright, it'll be less intense. If you start to lean more body weight into it, obviously it'll be more intense. And if that doesn't work for you, you can just have a seat. Same thing though, you'll place the ball right in that region. And then again, you're in charge. You can lean forward or back off. But just find an intensity that gives you some feedback but doesn't feel too painful. And we'll only be here for about a, a minute. so. I'll let you know when we're about 30 seconds in, and if you're sitting instead of on your heels, you're sitting on your sit bones for the other variation, um, I'll tell you when to switch. And again, play around with the intensity. Find something that gives you some feedback, but something you can still take nice deep breaths into. And if you're on the heels, don't do anything. We're going to stay here for another 30 seconds. But if you're sitting on your sit bones and doing one leg at a time, go ahead and switch to the other side. And just keep trying to take nice deep breaths, relaxing into it, because the more we can relax the body, the deeper the physiological effects will be.
And take one more deep breath here. And then release. And you can take the balls off, set them off to the side. Maybe come up to stand and just take a moment and notice how your feet and the lower extremities below the knee feel. But hopefully they feel nourished and refreshed and ready for whatever your next challenge may be. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me for this practice today. Have an amazing rest of your day. And until next time, be well. <laughs>